Do people ever ask you if you're like Willy Wonka? Is it like the magical sensation? That guy is a fake. That guy doesn't make any chocolates. I am the real Willy Wonka. Don't start with him. He is a fake. Today we're working with chocolate. Well, we're not just working with any chocolatier, we're working with the king of chocolate, Jacques Torres. We're in his factory where he's gonna show us some really cool techniques. We're going to do a centerpiece first. We're going to build a centerpiece about, I don't know, two and a half feet tall. And then we're going to make some flowers, three different kind of flowers, some leaves, some butterfly, and we're going to assemble all that together. We're going to do some type of a marble chocolate, and then we're going to do the flowers, then leaf, butterfly, and then we assemble everything together and done. Then you go home. Voila. All right, great. So the dark chocolate is 62% dark chocolate. So 62% means 62% of the, of the uh, in the chocolate, 62% come from the, the, the cacao. The rest is sugar. So how much chocolate are you using in your factory? A year we use about 150 tons of chocolates, which is quite a bit of chocolate. Oh, you do it fancy. <laughs> So the way to do it is to put some dark chocolates here, okay. just glue it this way, mm -hmm. move right and left, mm -hmm. and it should hold. Oh, wonderful. It should. Okay, then we're going to do another one here. We do the same. Are we not freezing it because you need flexibility in case? Yes, in case we have a problem, you know, I want to move it. Then now I'm putting chocolates here, and then I'm going to glue this one. Let's start with, we're going to put this one here. When you put the centerpiece together, remember that you look at the balance. The balance is very important. That's the first one? That's the first one, the little, the center of the flower. Okay. Okay. Then the other one that's the leaf that's going to go around that, so we're going to do it a little bit bigger. If it doesn't work, close your ear. So the air what doesn't do come mean? out. <laughs> I'm going to try something new. I'm going to dip it here first. And then I'm going to dip it here second. And hopefully we will see some of the red. Maybe, maybe not. You see, it keep, it keep yeah. going. So this is the first one, and I want the drip because the drip is going to be on the other side, so the center of the flower is going to go up. Okay. Now, the next one, I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to put some red chocolates here that are going to be inside, mm. the, inside the, the leaf, the, pardon, the, the petal. Mm. Are we using a liquid food coloring or powder? So actually it's a powder, and the reason is chocolate doesn't mix with liquid with water base. Chocolate mixed with actually oil base, so you can use oil base, but not water base color. So, we're going to poke this one very lightly. You don't want that to explode, you just want to make a little hole. And then I'm going to remove, and I don't going to touch the top, I touch the, just the bottom, because I want that to stay the way it is, like that, okay? <gasps> Now we're going to use three petals okay. and we're going to glue them on the bottom here. Okay, you can use a cold spray. Tiny bit more. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you and you can do it. You start next to the flower and you do a pass. Then you turn it. Okay, go ahead again. Okay, it's enough. What would you say is your philosophy in becoming a chocolatier? I, I come from a small city in the south of France. So I know the fishermen who sell the fish on the market. I know the butcher. I mean, I know I can put a face be, behind pretty much any product that my mom was buying in Bandol. So when I came to US, that doesn't exist here anymore. You don't put a face behind the product. It's very different. 
So when I op opened my first business, I put a big window and I was behind the window making the chocolates. And I want people to say, it's actually Jacques Torres who makes the chocolates. And they can tell me what they want. So to me, that was very important. Do people do these show pieces anymore? Very rarely. Did you like chocolate before you started working with it? Actually, you know, it's a funny question because what I remember that my mom used to buy those, you know, those big box of chocolates where you have more packaging than chocolates? <laughs> you know, supermarket chocolates? Yes. And to bite into those chocolates and when one was full of uh, that fondant, sugar fondant with, with fruit flavor, I hate it. But yep. when I hit uh, one of those with almonds and, and uh, hazelnut, oh my God, that was so good. So I remember that was the flavor that I want. So that's, that's my early memory with uh, eating chocolate. Okay, we're going to let that dry a little bit okay. and it's ready for assembly, okay? So my guess is flour, maybe flour here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You want it right there? No, you don't going to. Hold. <gasps> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, the butterfly fly, <laughs> but we still have a centerpiece. Less is more. Yeah, less is more, you're right. I mean, ideally, a showpiece like this takes more than just one day, more than six hours. You know, I actually can do it relatively fast. I will certainly put it together in a small, in a colder environment, maybe in the packaging room, okay. because it's a little bit colder. Uh, piece will will hold a little bit faster. Right. Um, so I will work differently, but you know, overall, it's, when you do something for a show, it's always a little bit different. Yes. And then we encounter some little Challenges. problems. <laughs> but you did great. Thank you very much. You oh, know, that you was so uh, much. you've been a good help, and um, I hope that you you learned a few techniques. Definitely. On the way. Always a pleasure. For more videos from Sugarcoated, click here.